In this video we will be talking about the reactions of alkali metals with oxygen. This is known as oxidation. We already touched on this topic in a previous video and we said that alkali metals when they're freshly cut they're very shiny grey uh, metal colour but it quickly tarnishes, it quickly reacts with oxygen in the air it forms a dull white layer of uh, the metal oxide whichever alkali metal is it forms an oxide of that metal on the surface so we'll be looking at these reactions in more detail with the word and symbol equations. So the general equation for the reactions of alkali metals with oxygen is the following. Metal plus oxygen forms a metal oxide. So for GCC chemistry you need to be able to know the reactions of the first three alkali metals with oxygen. So lithium, sodium and potassium with oxygen. So let's go through the word and symbol equations for each of these reactions. So let's start with the first one, lithium. The word equation is lithium plus oxygen forms lithium oxide. Um, the symbol equation is Li plus O2 makes L Li2O. Okay. Now this is not balanced. You can see here the number of lithium atoms here is 2 but there's only 1 there. There's 2 oxygen atoms here but 1 there. So if we put a 2 in front of this formula here, this will make our oxygen balanced. There's 2 oxygens on this side and 2 oxygens on this side of the arrow. Um, however, the lithium is not balanced. In total we have 4 lithium, so 2 times 2, but there's only 1 lithium atom here, so we can put a 4 in front of there as well. So this is the balanced symbol equation for the reaction of lithium and oxygen to form lithium oxide. You also need to include state symbols, so which state these chemicals are in, are they solids, liquids or gases. So lithium is a solid, it's a metal, it's a solid, um, oxygen is a gas, so that's a G, and lithium oxide is a solid. So this is your complete symbol equation and your word equation at the top. Okay, let's have a look at the equation for the second alkali metal, sodium. Sodium tarnishes more quickly compared to lithium. This is evidence that reactivity increases down the group and sodium is more reactive than lithium because it tarnishes quicker. So this is the word equation for the reaction. Sodium plus oxygen forms sodium oxide. And the symbol equation, again, we do the similar thing to what we did to the previous one to balance it. We have sodium plus oxygen makes sodium oxide, and we include state symbols. So solid, gas, and solid. The next one going down is potassium. Potassium is even more reactive because it tarnishes the fastest compared to the other two. It tarnishes so quickly that it's hard to see the shiny metal when it's cut because straight away it becomes dull because of the oxide layer that's formed. Here's the word equation and the symbol equation but this is not balanced so we put a 2 there just like with the other ones and a 4 there to make it balanced and we include the state symbols. Okay, potassium is a solid, oxygen is a gas, potassium oxide is a solid. So, so far we've talked about these alkali metals reacting with oxygen in the air, tarnishing. However, we can actually heat and burn the metal in oxygen as well. The equations, the word and symbol equations are exactly the same, but you see something different. So, instead of seeing tarnishing, the metals actually ignite and they burn um, with different flame colours. And when you burn something in oxygen, that's called combustion. So burning alkali metals and heating them in oxygen is a combustion reaction. The reaction equations are the same, however you see flame colours. So for lithium you see a red flame, for sodium it produces an orange yellow flame and potassium it produces a characteristic lilac flame. Remember the chemical equations for the combustion reactions and for the tarnishing is exactly the same because they, they're both alkali metals reacting with oxygen. It's just with the combustion you also have flame colours, so red, orange, yellow, lilac, depending on which alkali metal it is. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.